Hey everybody, Trenda here with another video. Welcome back to my channel, Raising Boys. Today I'm going to talk to you about summer routines that I have for my kids. This is the second year we've done these routines and it works amazing. Last summer we had an amazing summer. I felt like the kids totally helped me out with the house. They kept up on their schoolwork and it was just all in all a great summer for all of us. I really think routines are great for the kids, especially in the summer because it keeps them used to doing things at certain times. You know, it's not a free for all. I feel like I have a little bit more control and kids really do thrive on routines, especially my kids. So this is the second year we're doing this exact same routine. I'm really excited to share it with you. I did tweak a few things, you know, every year, of course, the chores changed, everything changes because my kids get older. The two-year-old's a little young to follow this routine, but he does help me out here and there and kind of do um, his like lessons, which are little educational games on the computer. And he doesn't have screen time as well until the big boys kind of have screen time, which is not till after they finish uh, these things. So if you are interested in learning what my kids do in the summer, which works really well for our family, stay tuned and I'm gonna share that with you. Okay, so here are our summer rules. So after breakfast, and we don't start this till after breakfast because the kids are allowed to come down whenever they wake up. I have a glass of milk for them in the fridge. They can watch TV, do whatever, relax, slowly wake up. Then once I get up, I make the breakfast. Once breakfast is served, they put away their devices and the summer rules start. So these are the rules. So they brush their teeth, they get dressed, reading or computer that's reading a book or doing a computer program that's through the school that is either reading or math for 15 minutes. They do workbook and I will show you those right now. These are the workbooks we are using. My older son is eight and going into third grade and my middle son is six going into first grade. I love this summer ring quest. We did these workbooks last summer. They're great, super fun for the kids. It comes with like a map where they place stickers on as they complete each one. So my son has done so much. He's done way more than uh, I've required him to do because he just loves this book. It's a lot of fun. It has stuff to do outdoors and reading, and it's a really fun workbook. Perfect for in between. It's definitely a refresher of second grade with a couple new concepts. My six-year-old, I was going to get him the one for between kindergarten and first, but he's a little advanced for kindergarten, so he needs to be challenged just a little bit more. So I just went ahead and picked him up a first grade book. And this I actually found at Aldi, and he's really enjoying learning new concepts and it's been a lot of fun for them. This will probably last the whole summer, but if it doesn't, I'll just pick up another one or some other kind of fun thing to keep their mind going. Then they do two chores and make their bed. After this is all complete, then they can have screen time or play or do whatever they'd like. So let me go ahead and show you what the chores are. Our, our chore list, and of course every summer I do redo this because the kids are getting older and can do more. They get to pick one and I get to pick one. And the reason why I pick one is sometimes there is something I need help with, or if I let them pick all their chores, sometimes the same chore gets done every day and other things get neglected. So they actually really like this because they feel like they have a little bit of control. So one is just clean up the TV room, pick up the playroom, easy, just picking up toys, trash, stuff like that. Emptying the dishwasher, usually with help. Cleaning the bathroom, and what I mean by that is just kind of organizing it, uh, wiping the counter, putting toothbrushes away and such. And vacuum the carpet downstairs, which is just one room, so easy. And we have a nice Dyson handheld vacuum that makes these things really easy. Vacuum all the hardwoods downstairs. We have a lot of hardwood floors and also the kitchen easy to vacuum, help mom fold laundry, clean up toys in the backyard, bring in the trash can. That one is usually reserved for my eight-year-old uh, on trash day. I say, I pick, bring in the trash cans. It works out really well. Help mom cook, wipe all the tables and counters, or vacuum the upstairs, which is carpet. 
and after dinner, sorry for that black line, that was something we no longer do, um, but after dinner, they clean their room and they do share a room, so this is done together. They also help put food away and wipe table. On even days, Kaysen helps put food away, Carter does the table, odd days, Carter does the food, and Kaysen does the table. We're having a hard time learning our even and odd, so I figured this was a good way to help teach them because we talk about every day what day it is and if it is even or odd. And then they pick up the TV room, put laundry away. Every day I do a load of laundry, so whatever is there that is their clothes, they go and put away. And then before bed, obviously brushing teeth, flossing, getting dressed for bed, making sure all the clothes are in the hamper, and they read one more time. We don't allow screen time after dinner. It helps them kind of wind down. So this kind of gives us something to do, gives them, you know, fills in kind of that time gap. But a lot of times we have bath and stuff in there too. And if there's extra time, really, we just hang out as a family, go on a walk, have extra snuggles, stuff like that. So that is our summer rules. All right, so those are my summer rules. Please leave any comments down below of any rules that really work in your house or any questions you have, I'd love to answer them. And also leave a comment if you would like me to do a video on my routines, what I do every single day to help myself function and the house to function. It works really well. Um, I'm excited to share these with you and you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.